okay friends next we move on to uh, configuring replication so we'll start configuring uh, transactional replication for uh, one of the tables uh, so let's look into the database uh, test db here we have uh, a student table let's just have a look at the contents of the table these are the contents and the type of the schema of the table is something like this we have uh, the roll number to be the primary key and uh, the name class and houses for the students so we will be uh, configuring a transactional replication for this uh, table uh, which will be called as an article in the publication and uh, the uh, the publication will be subscribed by the two instances that is the second and the third instance uh, via a transactional replication so just uh, let's just get started and uh, try and configure the transactional replication so the first step is to create a local publication for this so we'll say a new publication and click next we'll go with the test db as that is the database which holds the student uh, table uh, we will select the transactional publication and say next uh, remember that a table having a primary key defined will only be eligible for a replication so it's important uh, uh, for all the other tables marked in red here uh, they are not eligible for replication so as our student db has a primary key so we can define a replication on this these are the articles they could be stored procedures or tables so we will select the student uh, table and also in the article properties we'll just have a look so the properties for this publication is something like this i mean uh, action i mean the destination object name wherever this uh, publication will be subscribed that database the subscribing database uh, will have uh, i mean will create a student uh, table i mean that will be created by this publication itself and it will drop uh, the existing if there is a t uh, already t uh, uh, this if there is already a table with the name student it will be dropped and then a, a table with this schema present schema will be created it can it can be changed as well if we wish to have the existing object unchanged there are few other uh, properties as well so we'll keep it drop and existing the default value and these are the other properties configured so you can check out that and we'll say next for this table now here in this table uh, we wish uh, if, if if we wish only s uh, selective rows to be i um, mean uh, uh, replicated we can set up uh, filters here so let's just have a look at that as well if we wish that only house with the value yellow gets replicated only that uh, rows uh, will get uh, only those uh, record sets will get replicated by this publication so um, let's i mean presently we'll just try and configure it for the entire table will configure it for public public publishing in the entire table so just cancel this out and say next now we have the snapshot uh, this is the snapshot agent part where uh, the folder that we had configured in the distribution the snapshot agents uh, uh, will perform the duty of, of copying the uh, article uh, present snapshot of the article and keeping it on the folder that we had specified during the distribution uh, con distribution configuration so we will say create a snapshot immediately additionally it also says the snapshot agent to run at the following times i mean we can configure it to run every half an hour on hourly or a week a weekly basis so uh, the entire snapshot will be again up reapplied on the subscribers so we'll not uh, uh, go with that we'll simply just say a one time snapshot uh, application uh, to be initialized at the time of creation so say next next is the security settings 
we'll go with the SQL Server Agent Service account. Although this is not advised, but for demo purposes, we'll be using this. Uh, it's advised to be using the uh, standardized domain accounts uh, configured in the productions or development environments. Currently, this is a demo purpose, so we'll simply go with SQL Agent Service account and say next. Here we also see that the snapshot agent will be using this security settings and we'll say create the publication. We'll give it a name. We'll say test db pubs and this will create the publication for us. So the publication has been created, the article, student article has been added to the publication and the snapshot agent has also been started. So uh, the initial snapshot must be placed at that folder uh, for distribution and since uh, and this is uh, additionally acting as its own distributor this uh, if we see the distributor property the distributor for this publication is uh, this server itself so uh, the server is itself responsible for the distribution if we see if we click out the local publications we'll see the test db publication has been created this is a transactional uh, Repli uh, replication process now next the second part is to create the subscription so we'll go in the preceding uh, servers we'll say a local subscription we'll say a new subscription here and say next and here we need to select the sub uh, publisher so the publisher is our default instance let's connect automatically all the publications on this server will be visible to you so we'll select since we have only one we'll select the transactional and here you will be prompted for push or pull subscriptions I have explained in the article for uh, what is the difference with push and pull uh, subscriptions here uh, so presently we'll want whatever changes are there on the publish publisher and we need uh, I mean they uh, get pushed to our uh, subscription so we'll select for push subscriptions and say next here you'll be prompted for a subscription uh, subscription database so in the second instance uh, let's select my DB database I just want to show you my DB database doesn't have a student uh, table now so we can even add a subscriber here we can say I mean uh, we can add a subscriber like we can say third instance and we can say that the sample DB also wants to subscribe for this table so that can be done so we have two server servers subscribing for this table transactionally right we'll simply select the sql agent service account for both of them and we'll say next and we are almost done with the configuration this will finish this will complete the subscription on both the servers we have selected right so this is complete now if we now if we go and check the subscriptions we'll see a test pub subscription has been created additionally since this is a push the subscription will also be visible at uh, right at the public under the publications here we can see there are two subscriptions dependent upon this publications and both of them are push type on the third instance let's just go and
right this is visible this is the publication that was has been created now we had created in the sample db there is a table student now let's just query query out this is a default instance let's query it here if i simply select this sorry that's in the my db right so this is the database which is uh, hosting the student database i mean uh, student table which is getting replicated transactionally additionally let's query out the third instance as well this is the sample db which is hosting right if we uh, take a look it's all all the three publishers and both the subscribers are in sync now let's add something at the publishers end We are adding Freddy to right. We have added one more record, and if we have a look, Freddy has been added at the as at our publication end. Now next, we can just query out. We will find Freddy on the second and the the third instances as well. transactionally these uh, will get uh, replicated if we try and update we'll see we are able to update it on the local copy but uh, the same update will not happen i um, mean will not be uh, getting replicated on the other subscribers and uh, at the other publishers uh, let's perform the same update at so that's uh that's about transactional replication how uh, transactional replication can be set up and how things work for as far as transactional replication goes next we'll uh, look into transactional rep uh, replication with updating subscribers where uh, the subscribers can update uh, uh, records and they will get reflected on the prince uh, principal or uh, sorry on the publication as well as other subscribers i mean all that record will be synced across the entire uh, publisher and subscribers for uh, that particular article so we'll have a look on the next uh, demo session thank you